Um, hello, my exceedingly pleasant friends. I'm here to present to you my review impressions of Astral Chain, and I always have to remind you, a uh, review impressions is uh, I played significantly longer than I would with a simple first impressions video, but I haven't quite yet beaten it, so it's kind of an in between. It's kind of an impressions, kind of a review. Um, Astral Chain, Platinum Games, Switch exclusive, kind of came out of the blue completely <laughs> at a Nintendo Direct, and, uh, I must say, this game is... I am surprised and impressed. Those are the those are the two things that I am about this game. Surprised and impressed. Very much so. Um, basic story setup uh, is kind of like... I guess you wouldn't call it post-apocalypse. It kind of is. There's these chimera bad guys that come... They're just nasty monster dudes that come from an alternate dimension. They open up portals and they come through. And they don't like people for whatever reason, and they've destroyed most of the Earth, so you're everybody, the rest of humanity is kind of confined to this, like, one island, the futuristic kind of island or something, and, uh, and so there's, like, this very small elite task force of people who have learned how to control the Chimera, um, where they just chain, you know, they control them with this chain, they hold onto them with a chain, and they can tell them what to do. And basically using the monsters to fight the other monsters, um, which I think is a really, as sort of almost an aside, is sort of a cool concept is that just like, your dude that helps you out and helps you fight and stuff, he hates you and he would love to kill you. And I just think it's a, it's a really unique dynamic. It's just like, and it, it is explored in the story, the idea that like, these are bad guys. These are nasty dudes and they don't, they probably don't want to be doing this, <laughs> but you're kind of just making them. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, overall story is like it's it's pretty all right. Like it's it's nothing mind blowing or anything, but it's it sets the scene pretty well. It contextualizes all the action and stuff pretty good. Um, you're this uh, police guy or girl, whichever you choose, and your sibling is there with you, and you're just you're just trying to get to the bottom of this whole thing and fight the bad guys. That's really it. There's obviously, there's more that you know unravels throughout the game, but I won't spoil anything. Um, the environments and the graphics are really nice. That is that is one of the first things that surprised me about this game is um it looks really good. There I mean like there's like little inconsistencies here and there. It's not like the most pretty game in the world, but I don't know. Maybe I've just been playing too much uh, Fire Emblem. <laughs> I know I complained about that, but just like coming off of that going to here, it's just like, "Oh wow. Yeah, like these guys get environments and there's like I don't know, stuff has good uh, good lighting, the graphics are nice and crisp and clean for the most part, um, detailed environments, it just looks really nice, lots of fun particle effects, whenever you go through a portal and you're in the wacky monstery chimera world, you've got all these like cool black reflective stone stuff and it looks really pretty and the, and the big backgrounds, you look like you're in this big crazy epic realm, and I always just love big places with big giant backgrounds, I love that kind of stuff, stuff floating around all over the place. Um, yeah, and like the action looks really nice and smooth. The uh, performance is pretty good. It's not the most smooth in the world. It's probably locked at like 30 or something, but it's pretty consistent. Uh, yeah, just like overall performance and graphics are really nice. And the game has voice acting. Always something I can appreciate to a degree, even if it is fairly uneven, but I can still at least appreciate that they put the effort in. <laughs> you know what I mean? I always, it's not like every line isn't voice acted, but there's a lot and there's cutscenes and story and all sorts of stuff and I, I don't know I just I can always appreciate that people put in that kind of effort that it just lays out in the story and animation department and stuff yeah handheld play is good um it's it's also really really nice and consistent like you, it's the kind of thing where you're playing it handheld and you don't feel like you're missing out on anything uh, so that's nice there's like a few resolution dips when it really picks up but there are times when I'm really surprised I'm looking at a crisp 720p image that's pretty cool. Um, so basic gameplay. So you're this guy, and you got a monster chain to you. You kind of you control yourself. So like when you hit your attack button, you attack. But then if you hold down the right button, you can move your guy kind of independently. So it's kind of a mix between you controlling it and them kind of going off on their own, kind of automated. And it's it it's a little bit to wrap my brain around at first. It's, uh, it's, it's just kind of interesting. There are things that you do together. Whenever there's a little flash, you can hit the left trigger and that'll do an attack where you both attack at the same time. But a lot of the time you really are just wailing on guys yourself and your guys off doing something else, but you're still initiating certain attacks. And so it's just, it's it really actually makes a sense of teamwork. Like you are, you know, like this guy is on your team. You're not controlling him completely, but he's not completely automated. And it's a, 
it is an interesting dynamic R really interesting one took me a while to, to get used to i mean i'm still kind of getting used to the whole thing i'm not super good at, <laughs> at action games like this um but i say it's really uh, it's intriguing it's it's very interesting um and then i i love this kind of thing where you're chained to the guy you got your chain so like i love it when designers take an idea like that and they're like in what ways can we incorporate that idea into the gameplay itself? And they explored the idea so thoroughly, and I just, I love that. I can appreciate it so much. You can send your guy far away and then hit a button to launch yourself toward him, which can be used to attack dudes. You can use your guy to wrap a chain around a dude and it will wrap him up in a chain and he'll temporarily be just kind of stuck there and you can wail on him. Um, you can wrap your chain around a dude and then bring your guy over to a different guy and then like slingshot yourself to the first guy and hit him and then whip over to the second guy so you can like go around corners and stuff if a dude is like you get like a little beam of energy and they're gonna they're gonna charge forward and you can see where they're gonna charge you can stretch your two guys across and he'll hit the chain and you can like slingshot him back <laughs> and fling him back and stun him like I just think it's really, really cool. The, the whole chain thing is just, it's just explored to such a satisfying and fun and interesting degree. And like, there's so many possibilities in this game. And it's one of those things where like, I'm still not quite good enough. I don't even utilize all the stuff I could be using. And it's, um, it's fun cause like, I'm playing it on casual and it is a little too easy now, but I'm almost afraid to raise the difficulty. Cause like, if they're gonna start demanding that I use all these different moves, I could, I could see it being, really hard i could see it being like really hard but also really satisfying to learn how to use every different thing in different situations and like another one is like you get a few different kinds of legions and uh the first one that you get is a sword one and you can kind of just like you like brace yourself and you can slash in any direction that you want to you can even slow down time when you do it and you can do this to break through like certain walls where you have to slash in a certain direction to break it or locks to do it um you'll find uh like an energy beam like a signal is being sent to something and if you slash in the opposite direction you can break the signal when dudes are swinging their weapons at you you can slash in the opposite direction to like interrupt them and like counter them like even just like that there's there's so much you could do with it and i feel like it's a little cumbersome to use but i feel like if i got really good at it you could do so much just in in combat there are so many options at any given time so many different ways you could be doing things it's almost overwhelming it's one of those kinds of games where in the first like several hours it does not stop giving you tutorials <laughs> like it's a uh, that kind of thing can be annoying but in this case it's not really because each thing seems really useful and cool and is very empowering you're just like whoa you can do that too you know what i mean like yeah and the great thing is like all these different abilities with you and your guy they open up a ton of possibilities outside of combat too um so when you're not fighting dudes you'll often find yourself running around like i talked about the crazy weirdo chaos goopy weird planes where you're just running and trying to find guys to kill and he, and then here like you have like basic platforming sections where you've got platforms that are moving or going up and down and you can you know make your guy fly across a long stretch and then launch yourself over to a platform that you wouldn't be able to get to normally uh stuff like that there's like light puzzle elements you can use your slash ability and then later other abilities from other legions that you get to hit switches or you got to hit the switches in the right order and or get them all at the same time by doing a slash or something and again with platforming you can even like there's like these crystal things you can angle your chain around so you're like oh i need to get around this rock so i'll wrap my guy around here and over to the platform and just these sequences and uh there's so much to explore there's items all over the place to find and everything so like you have this just action-y game, this like hack and slashy action sort of thing, but then you have this other supplemental just kind of exploration, adventuring, platforming sort of thing, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's just, there's a lot, um, it's just a lot of variety. And even more, even more, there are, like most missions will start with like an investigation. So even before you go fight all these wacky guys in the wacky world, you go down into the city and you'll just be in like a little area and you're like investigating a crime or a disappearance or something. You're trying to get to the bottom of things. So it's like a sleuthing thing. And you've got your like, you know, your your whatever vision. Lots of games have that, you know, you go boom and you can see things all kind of different, your detective vision or whatever. And when you're doing this, you're like, 
walking around to people and like gathering information and every time they give you an important piece of information it'll go into your journal and then at the end of the whole thing someone will like kind of quiz you and you'll try to put together the information and then you'll talk to some people and they'll give you like side quests oh go find this thing for me do this funny little game with me and like you never really know what kind of thing you're going to get pulled into and then like the investigation stuff itself too use your your vision and you can like tap into security footage and see like little ghosty animations of something that happened and watch like the replay over and over again and observe and you like you're looking around for data points that you like oh you hit a here and it's like oh you get a little observation it looks like it fell this way and did this oh it looks like it was shot from this direction and uh it really makes you feel cool it makes you actually feel like you're sleuthing around and it's uh, i don't know it's just very it's very engaging it's very fun this whole thing so between all of this you have these sleuthing sections where you're going and investigating but then inevitably that'll lead you on uh, the tail of some bad guy monster over here and then a portal opens up and then you go in and you're doing all this stuff and then you fight guys so there's just so much variety and it, it just kind of cycles and you never quite know what you're going to get into next beyond the simple like you know sleuth platforming fight kind of thing but uh on an individual level it's just fun seeing what's around each corner and what someone's gonna want you to do and you know the game's very it's got lots of silly silly interactions there's a lot of light-hearted humor in there a lot of silly stuff and then and then like to top it all off you've got uh your hq you're you're a police guy so you go back to hq and that's where you get your missions and stuff and there's like tons of characters to talk to and other side quests to do and a training room so it's like you know like like i said it's taken me a little while to get down the whole fighting thing so you can train all you want in the training room all sorts of different programs and if you're really into like all the characters and the funny stuff like there's all these dudes to talk to all the time best part about hq i love the music <laughs> i i unironically love the music that plays in hq i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to put it on the video try to use his background music um and then even more, even more. When you're out there on the field, you're gathering items, you know, finding treasure chests and nooks and crannies all over the place and uh, gaining XP. Yeah, you gain XP. There's like red stuff all over the place, like this corruption stuff. So part of it is you use your legion to clean it up and there's a certain percentage. So like every level and every section has percentages to clear if you're like a completionist kind of person. This is definitely your kind of game because there's tons of stuff to do. But then all that stuff that you get feeds into upgrades like you yourself level up to get more like you know health and stuff like that um your weapons you've got your like little sword and your big sword and your gun you can upgrade those make it more powerful and stuff you can upgrade your legion thing with how long they get out and all, how much energy they get they themselves have combat skill trees so all sorts of different abilities you can unlock uh passive abilities like just passive you know like oh he gets this or he gets that and then active abilities which are like moves that you map to a button and it's a special attack like there's just so much i'm just impressed by the scope of it and I, I always say it i'll always say it like no matter how fun your game is you're gonna make it that much more fun for arlo's by having an upgrade system by letting me collect items you know skill tree all that stuff so like it's great that you have this this fun combat this fun exploration and also you you know all that stuff that you do feeds into making yourself stronger it's just it's very satisfying it's that constant kind of feeling of progress just a just overall a very surprising amount of variety and depth and i can say i'm really enjoying it and um overall this is not my kind of game just the the genre i guess i don't know just like action kind of hack and slash sort of thing um i mean there's all these elements that i'm saying are for me they're they're kind of making it more something like i am enjoying it i i don't know it's so hard for me to like i guess i probably wouldn't have played it if i wasn't gonna do this video on it in the first place but i'm glad that i did because I'm finding more to enjoy than I originally, I mean, I always thought it looked cool. I've said it before, like the trailers look cool just because there's so much different stuff you can do. Um, so yeah, anyway, like, yeah, not exactly my kind of game, but that says a lot about it, about just how cool it is, is that it's really hooking me and it's really getting me and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So um, don't sleep on this game. If this, is, if this is your kind of game, I mean, like, I don't know, maybe 
check out a couple gameplay but i mean you've seen gameplay and stuff but like i know there are certain elements that i could see someone not liking um some of the the combat like sometimes it seems a little just mashy um sometimes it's a little like your character because your legion is so fast and cool and kills everything you yourself are a little bit sluggish or something so like i could see some people not really enjoying the combat or something um but man, look into it. This is a really cool game. And it's 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 always sad when we get like a cool exclusive for the Switch or for anything, and it doesn't really do well. You know, like you look at like Platinum Games, you look at like Wonderful 101 or something. Like I would love it if this did not turn into another Wonderful 101. So far, it seems like it's not going to, but it's still something I think about. So I don't know, like if this seems like it's up your alley, like go for it. This game is really cool. And like you're getting hours, you're definitely getting you know, a good, a great amount of content just because of all the different stuff you do, so much stuff. It's not the kind of action game where you dive in and you're just, you finish it off in seven hours or whatever. Like this will, this will keep you busy for quite a while. I kind of, I almost just feel like I barely scratched the surface and I've still, pretty, I don't know. I've been playing for a good long while now. So it feels like there's a lot more game to do. Um, that's it though. That's, those are my review impressions of Astral Chain. It is pretty darn cool. While I'm here, I'm going to remind you, I have a couple more events that I got throughout the year and I just need to remind you, go to my Twitter. I'm going to I'm going to pin a tweet saying the things. I'm going to Portland Retro Gaming Expo in October and then Arlo Palooza will be at Sat Gamers Expo in Sacramento, California. Those are like the two things I'm doing through the remainder of the year and I just got to remind you all of that because I hate it when people say, "Oh, I didn't know you were going to be at such and such." And I'm like, "I told you I was going to be at such and such." So, this is one of your reminders I'm doing that. Go see the tweet. That's more information on my Twitter. Uh, I love you, have a good day, and I'll see you later.